If Dalai Lama said to me that I was the perfect Buddhist, that I, I was I was on a par with Buddha himself, I've got I've got a, a sense of peace, I've got a sense of uniformity, I've got a sense of fucking enlightenment, I've got a sense Will you shut the fuck up? Some fucking guy like a woodpecker fucking hammering nails into a fucking fence. There's always people trying to bring you down when you're going up. You might want to deal with that, you know, you might want to put their fucking head through a window. You can't think like that. You've got to think peace, love. Instead of hitting someone in the face with a fucking hammer, why not a kipper? You know what I mean? That's where I am. I'm kipper, not hammer. I tell you what, I'm glad I don't have an hammer. I'm glad I don't have an hammer. You know, because if I had an hammer, he'd get it. Norman Orman is my name. But my Buddhist name is Kelsang Orman. But you can call me Norman. Or Kelsang Norman. Or Orman. Where am I from? I'm from the universe. universe. I am part of the stardust that coalesced after a supernova made inside a massive supernova explosion. We all were. That's where I'm from. But I'm also from Tottenham. You know, it's all about karma. 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 What is karma? A lot of people ask what karma is. Well, what I'd say is, what's coming to you is going to fucking come to you. You know, people ask me, what's karma? I mean, it's yin and yang, isn't it? You know, I might glass some cunt. I might give a dog a snack. Balance. You see, a lot of guys born with a micro penis. I tell you what that is. It's karma. And they might have had a big fucking cock in their past life, right? But they were naughty with it. So in this life, they've got a fucking tie off and a balloon. Small cock, it's your fault. Karma. But that's the great wise serpent in the sky that gives us that shit, you know I mean? Uh, some people call it God. Other people call it, you know, the fucking whatever it is. Don't understand it in this country. You've got to go to India. Well, I haven't actually been to India, that's the problem. I love Indian restaurants. I've been to uh, Brick Lane. I've had a biryani. I know about Indian culture. I'm tantric. I'm underneath the tree of knowledge. This is it. Look at that, look at that. Look at the curves there. Sexy. I can shag for hours. You can't shag a leaf. I know. I've tried. You know, I mean, that's what I'm doing. I'm following. I'm following the path to enlightenment. I mean, when you're on a path to enlightenment, right, someone's in your way. You gotta fucking kick the cut, haven't you? Get out of the fucking way, you're in my path. You're trying to get to a state of zen. And some fucker needs a head button. There's nothing worse than regret. There's nothing worse than realising that you haven't grasped it. I mean, you've only got one life. I mean, infinite lives. But you've only got one set of infinite lives. Do I have regrets? Uh, well, yeah, I, I once had the uh, 
a clear opportunity to shag an owl. And uh, I turned it down. The universe has been here forever and it will stay forever. And you know, I mean, if you think that this is it, this this is it, you're gonna commit crime, aren't you? You're gonna you're gonna do naughty things. You're gonna fucking grab and you're gonna fucking behave. But if you know that you've got an infinite amount of lifetimes to sort it out, you're not gonna fucking take the old lady's handbag. You're not gonna fucking, you know, I shouldn't have done that. One of the amazing things about infinite lifetimes you get the chance that in the future you might just get it right. You know, next time I won't smash his head off the corner of a pool table. Next time I won't put his face through a plate glass window. Next time I won't stick a screwdriver in his throat. One day, maybe next time, I'll be a good man. <laughs>